Welcome to the Red Carpet Report. I'm Oriana Leo in Beverly Hills, California for the 19th Annual Art Directors Guild Excellence in Production Design Awards. Um, I'd like to ask you, how important is excellence in production design to what you do specifically? Well, for our show, it's everything. Um, it has been there from the beginning. I, I'm very conscious of it. It helps create the atmosphere. It is a character in the show. Um, Dan Bishop, who does the production design, who's done it for seven years, has done the evolution of the period. He knows the difference between what's stylish and what is um, commonplace and what, what it's supposed to look real. And um, I run the stories by him, too. He's just a creative partner. So, I mean, for our show, um, it's, it's, it's kind of an understatement to say it is, it is very important. Absolutely. Um, Mad Men has inspired my style, watching okay. it for years. I'm wondering, you can see from the high hair. Oh, yeah. um, do you find that anyone on set, whether they're actors, talent, production, is inspired by the period and, and the environment that they're in? Um, you know, there's a fetishization of what's going on there. I think the actors, when they're out, and they're, they don't want to wear period stuff because no. they wear it all the time. Great. I think that they will, actually. Because it's, 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 they look really good in it. That's part of how they got hired. <laughs> or we found what looked good on them. Janie Bryant did. Um, but, um, you know, I think that, that the, the reality that's created, whether it's the period or not, in right. the show is inspiring to people. And it, it stirs their imagination. And you get comments from people about how accurate it is. But, you know, it was a great time in American design. And not only, and, and spurred on by the fact that the masses, the, the, the public at, 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 at the target level, and I mean target the department store, yes. really, really was craving new design. Yeah. And was open to avant-garde design and so forth and new materials. And so we've tried on the show to make it feel real. There's a mixture of the old and the new. There right. are things, you know, no one throws out all their stuff the day that they get new stuff, you know. So Betty Draper lives in a colonial house, but Don's apartment and Don's uh, office is super, you know, mid-century or whatever you would ever say it. So I think, short answer, when, when any production design is done well with detail, it's an ins inspiration for the story. Are they doing it personally? I have to say that it might be the age range, but there, is a, there are a chunk of us that are basically, I'm born in 1965, but yeah. I would say all the way to people who are born in 1980, mm -hmm. this is our period right. in terms of what we like in design. Yeah. There's wood, but it's clean. It's, you know, well put together. It's sexy. It's, and it, you know, I have to tell you that yeah. Don's apartment where he lived with Megan, yes. I say live because it's, you know, yeah. the shows, I'm done with it. Um, it it is, a, it is one of the sexiest places in the world. And everybody who comes there is kind of like, with a sunken living room, yeah. and, and I was like, I know you're enjoying it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, there are no sheets on the bed, and the toilet doesn't work. <laughs> and that view is fake. Well, it, but it, is it very works, sexy space. it works, it's very sexy. That's Le Dan, that's Dan. Uh, final question, sure. have you ever brought anything home from a set that you really loved? Um, now that the show is over, yes. When we took things apart, I did. I took a. Can you share a, anything? Yes, I took Roger Sterling's bar from his office, which is Chrome. Fantastic. I took um, a couple of. I, I always take props occasionally. I have Don's Cleo that he broke on his desk. I have um, just a couple of things that are significant to me. I took the big sign that Peggy did her Burger Chef pitch in front of. It's in my garage. So, yeah. If you liked this red carpet report, then subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Tell us what item from a TV or film set would you love to have. Until next time, I'm Oriana Leo.